I am a fisherman. I am a water person. I am a survivor of the Great Flood, and it's our way of life. You know, really to the untrained eye, when you walk up to a river, your first thought is, wow, this is, this is beautiful. I see clear water. I hear water flowing. I see trees along the banks. What's wrong with this river? And really, we did a lot of logging in these river valleys and changed the composition of the forests that line the rivers. And some of the first things that we took were the large logs. That is one of the main reasons NRCS is working with our partners to try to recreate this habitat. We're adding fuel back into the river system that was removed several hundred years ago. And the great thing about this is we restore the basic ingredients and let the river do the restoration. The river will finish the recipe for us in time. So this project is part of a long-term restoration strategy on the Upper South Fork Nooksack River to recover Chinook salmon for the Lummi people and put large wood back in the river and create the habitat that's needed for salmon. From there, it's sort of Lincoln logs of placing all the other logs on top to create the structure. Now, all of this is done to the specifications of the engineering design the log jams are designed to withstand 100 year flood flows. They're designed to be very stable. And then those juvenile salmon need cool, clean water, pools to hide with cover as they're growing before they make their way down the river to the estuary and then eventually the ocean. The salmon come up to the Lummi Reservation on the Nooksack River. It's important for our people, the Lummi Nation, for salmon because we, we are Salish people and we need salmon to survive. And that's our history in salmon. And we got to try to protect and preserve what we have left and protect our shellang and our way of life. Anything we can do as an agency to help with that salmon population is going to really allow the farms that we need in this area for growing our crops and the salmon that we need for our ecosystem and for our own values to really coexist. And so wherever NRCS can help and further these goals, it's really going to help preside salmon populations along with the farmland that we're traditionally working with. We need help. All Lummi Nation people appreciate the help that we can get from NRCS. Yeah, nah, 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 nah.